Okay, before we did Bell's Two-Hearted Ale, uh, today we're going to do a beer that uh, basically defines Bell's Brewery. It's uh, one of the most sought-after beers, uh, I think, in the world. Um, and uh, one of the quintessential double IPAs uh, out there. Many will say it's the, the best uh, double IPA. One of the most sought-after beers, as I mentioned, and uh, basically when it goes on sale every late January, early February, people just snatch up cases like there was no tomorrow, like it was going out of style or something like that. It's a seasonal brew from Bell's, of course, out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is their Hop Slam Ale. Uh, coming in at 10% alcohol by volume, it's a double IPA. And this is the one beer that brings out both the snobs of beer, the geeks of beer, and the snobby geeks of beer. I have never read so many reviews in my life or, or have seen so many video reviews in my life of people just kind of turning up their nose and saying, oh, this batch is not as good as the last batch from, uh, from last year, or this is not as good as the glory year of 2006. I, I, maybe my palate isn't quite as refined as these people, I don't know, but I just always think this is just one of the, uh, the, the greatest, most crisp beers in the world. I don't know what these people are tasting. Um, and it really, it, it, one of those things that kind of gets on my nerves a little bit is these, these snobs, absolute snobs that, that want to kind of nitpick about maybe one little bit of uh, aftertaste that only, that they think they taste <laughs> as far as a difference in this beer. But uh, I don't know, they, they usually market a great, now this could be different. I could, I could end up being one of these people, hopefully not, but you never know. Um, according to Beer Advocate, it is the uh, number 10, uh, the most popular uh, double IPA on Beer Advocate. Uh, they use six different hop varieties, uh, massive dry hop additions. Simcoe is a big, uh, the Simcoe hops. There's just a lot of um, Pacific Northwest hops, and it just has just one of those, one of those aromas to it and tastes that, that kind of separates it from any other double IPA. I mean, a lot of the, there's a lot of great double IPAs out there. It's one of my favorite styles and a lot of different kind of um, aromas and tastes you get from uh, double IPAs. Uh, of course, Russian River, Pliny the Elder and Pliny the Younger comes uh, to mind. Uh, there's also a beer in Vermont. A lot of people consider that to be the best uh, in the world. It's uh, Heady Topper, which I've yet to have or even seen, see on sale around here. Hopefully that'll change one of these days. Um, but uh, they also use a dollop of honey in this, uh, as a matter of fact. And I'm, I'm really uh, looking forward to uh, reviewing this. Um, full disclosure, I've had a, a few from this case already, so um, this is not my first time having Bell's Hop Slam. Um, I've had uh, Hop Slam last year, last year's batch, and the year before. And you know what? I'm gonna surprise a lot of people out there. I think it pretty much tasted the same in my opinion, <laughs> no matter what. So let's open up uh, Bell's Hop. Here's, uh, here's the logo. That's a big hop. There's an arm grown out of it, which kind of signifies the double IPA style, 10% alcohol by volume. And we're going to pour it into a tulip glass, a Mad Elf tulip glass to be exact. And we'll see that just kind of a color that's reminiscent of the Two-Hearted Ale that we just reviewed, maybe with a little bit more of a head to this beer, and just a little more activity. As you can see, let's see if we can get the whole thing in here without it overflowing. There we go. There we got it. Perfect. It's a beautiful looking beer. Just a great looking beer. Uh, as you can see, just one of the, uh, one of the best. Not a little, little I don't want to say murkier, but less, uh, less of a see-through beer than the, um, Two-Hearted Ale was, but then again, there's more, a lot more going on here than there was with the Two-Hearted Ale. So let's get the aroma now of Bell's Hop Slam. Pine, just, just pine. I'm just, that's, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like, almost like a wintry night kind of pine tree, Christmas tree kind of smell to this beer. Definitely the fruit and the citrus and the grapefruit are, are definitely mixing uh, here. As far as the dollop of honey, I mean, I'm not going to really smell honey, so I can't really factor that into the uh, to the aroma, I think, of uh, Bell's Hop Slam. However, as, when you go, uh, as far as scents go, it is just one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best smelling beers uh, in the entire world. I, I just can't, I, I can't, I've never had a beer that just kind of has this pleasant of, a, of, of an aroma. So without further ado, we'll get the taste now of Bell's Hop Slam Ale. Yeah.
Oh, it's not as good as Batch 57 from the year 2007, if you ask me. It was a much uh, finer year. No. Great. I mean, just stupendous. I, one of the best in the world. I, I One of the best double IPAs I've ever had, um, nonetheless. Now, I've had Pliny the Elder, which we reviewed uh, earlier. I haven't had a chance to get my mitts on Pliny the Younger yet, but uh, I will hope to one of these days. And uh, what I said earlier about Hetty Topper, so... Uh, those are beers that I want, but this this is just one of the. It, it's one of the best. I mean, you have just that boozy kind of quality to it, um, intermixed with the pine kind of taste, the grapefruit, the citrus, and just a lot of stuff going on here. Um, maybe a hint of the honey can be uh, kind of tasted a little bit, um, but it's just it's just a world class beer. Will always be a world class beer, I think, unless they change things up or something like that for real one of these years. <laughs> Um, but to me, this is, um, you know, you get a case if you're one of the lucky ones, uh, that goes out, uh, early enough, at least in Pennsylvania, uh, and, uh, you're able to snatch a case of this for, um, 65, $68 or whatever it is, uh, totally do it. And because it's worth every penny, uh, if not more in my opinion. So definitely going to give Bell's Hop Slam Ale 10 out of 10. Thanks.